Hello, angels. So, big empties. Well, big empties. The scents that I'm wearing today, can we start off with? Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. I've had so many compliments on this scent. It's insane. Also, if you like a good cap, this one, listen, it will not fall out in your purse. Bath and Body Works kind of sucks with the caps falling off. Prime example, literally, you're the one dimmer shimmer missed. I've had people cough out, like, like had to walk. I, I was at Firebirds, and it's a pretty large facility. Um, it's a restaurant, and I've had, like, a woman literally walked out coughing because I sprayed a lot of this in the bathroom, so I'm sorry, whoever you were. But what I'm trying to say is the caps kind of suck. Mix Bar has, like, it's like a lock. Like, I can spin it, but it's like a lock. Like, I don't have to worry about it falling off in my bag. Same with Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret has caps that do not fall off. Love it. So, first empties is Flawless Self Tan Liquid. Um, you can choose the option of having it sprayed, or they also have an option of it just like being like, like a dabber, basically. Um, it's amazing. The tan lasts about, I would say, like, um, it's like kind of fading away, but it's not the splotchy, like looks like freckles fading away. It like fades away in an even tone where it's like not going to leave you like looking like freckles splotchy. You know what I mean? So that lasts about, I would say five days, at least maybe six. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't really know a lot about spray tan, but it works for me. I love it. Um, if you like that, it also comes with a glove as well, which I love. It comes with the glove, the spray. I admire it. You can kind of see in this picture right here, the spray. That's lovely. Um, what color did I get? Fake Bake Flawless Self Tan. Streak free, easy application. I, it might be just all one color, but it is pretty dark. I love it. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. I love that. Don't get this, because if you get this, then you will never go back to any other dry shampoo. I got so many compliments on my hair. It's like a, a nice, gore, it's like a gourmand, like sexy, I wish there was more in here. No, I can smell it from the cap. It smells exactly like the perfume. It's, well, it smells exactly like the spray. And it lasts forever. What I did, I sprayed it at like the nape, the back of my neck. Parted my hair in each way. Parted, 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 parted. And around the crown as well. Amazing. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever had in my life. I went to Ulta. They didn't have it in store. So I was like, can you just like ship it to me? And they did, and it was like maybe one to two day shipping. Amazing. I love this so much. I need this in all the body care. This is Soul 62 Janeiro Dry Shampoo. It's the best ever. Effortless, cleanses to leave you with the lift, movement, and feeling of freshly washed hair. Always weightless, never stiff. Period. Love this. I will always repurchase this. This is absolutely amazing. I think it was around $22-ish worth it. Worth it. I love this so much. So much. Next up is Rouge Elixir. Red Currant Almond Creme. You can smell the red currant. You can smell the almond creme. Absolute decadence. Love this. Uh, would I repurchase? Probably not. Um, it, it lasted, I would say like an hour, eh, honestly, 30 minutes to an hour on my body. Um, I think it's cherry elixir, the black and red bottle that actually lasted quite a long time on me. I'm very shocked. So would I repurchase that again? No, I have like two other bottles. <laughs> Next up, cherry elixir. This is amazing. This lasts so long on my body. This would be paired nicely with Hypnotic Poison. It has that somewhat, I know people say root beer note. 
it has like that almond biscotti um no in it almost tonka bean but like boozy vibe it's so sexy i love the bottle cherry elixir number 33 almost an angel almost an angel number nyx cherry liquid amber quiet mystery i love this i already made a video about this watch this on my page it's so lovely mix it with hypnotic poison oh, it's a vibe next KP Bumpa raised her body scrub with 10% AHA. First Aid Beauty Fab. This is amazing. Um, I obviously my skin is not the bestest, but it's pretty damn good for honestly, this is actually the bestest that it's been. Um uh, ew, I hate everything. So I just dropped like a lot of things. So it's okay, I'll pick that up in a moment. But this is amazing. This exfoliates me without it being, like, too harsh. And I rub pretty hard on my face, though. But it doesn't, like, leave me feeling... It doesn't leave me red or, like, any rashes on me. This, like, truly gets in the pores. It truly exfoliates my face. And when I get out of my bubble bath or my shower, it. I only use this on my face. I think this is an overall all body, yeah, body scrub. I use this on my face. This is amazing. This makes my face so smooth and glowing when I come out too. Like my cheekbones will be like glowing, tight, beautiful. I will always repurchase this. It's absolutely amazing. If you suffer from uneven textured skin or just some like dry skin, this would be amazing for you to get that off. I focus on my lips, definitely. I focus on my forehead, hairline, everything. Behind the neck, behind the ears. It's beautiful. I love this. I can't imagine if I use this on my whole body. I'd be the porcelain queen. I love this. I love this so much. I would definitely recommend this if you want, like, a nice exfoliator. I rub kind of hard. I would suggest going and, like, definitely slow circular motions um if you're going to use this like brand new it's amazing i cut it open because it's that damn good i have two more bottles and i love this that's all i'm gonna say i could talk forever about that i love that so much at the end i'll pick up the items um mary cookie uh, doesn't last very long but it smells so lovely um, I had the original Santa's cookies. Um, pretty sure that was called. I had like biscotti, cookie dough, whatever, which was the best. The original packaging was the best. Stop reformulating. It's so, so messed up. I'm also trying not to cuss in this video. It's so messed up. I hate that Bath and Body Works reformulates. I'm hoping Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow smells the exact same it's in different packaging so i'm assuming that they reformulated it if it was in the same repackaging then i'd be like okay they didn't reformulate it it was still the same bottles they just had overstock of it but i'm hoping they didn't reformulate it um mary cookie smells nothing like nothing like summer marshmallow beach night summer marshmallow so this is okay when i repurchase it no Sweet pea, uh, sweet pea, why would I purchase it? No, sweet pea, water repair, sheer freesia, luscious raspberry, soft musk. Mm. It's like chemically, I can't explain it. It's an okay scent, mm. but why would I purchase it? Probably not. Next is Waikiki Beach Coconut. This smells like. No I have this in my car right now. Oh, my hair looks so funky fresh. So I have this in my car right now. It smells like nothing. I also need to put my glasses on. It smells like absolutely nothing. I just got a tiny whiff today in my car. I was jogging with my sister. And I was like, oh, my God, it smells so good. But other than that, can't smell it. Pumpkin pecan waffles, I can definitely smell that in the car. I have, like, probably four more of the car scents. I have like a bunch. I have like a thick stack of them. 
honestly, in my collection right now. So what I do is like I take out, I really take it out from my car because my body of the car is connected to the trunk. So I can still smell the fragrance if I put it back there. So I'm thinking about switching it out to like mahogany teak wood possibly because that's a nice strong scent. For the last time I smelt it, but Bath and Body Works, what I'm trying to say, Bath and Body Works stop reformulating. Ugh. They would make so much money if they kept with the same things. Redonkulous. Anyways, this, the performance is not very good. Sadly, because I love the scent. I got a damaged box of my Bath and Body Works order in Waikiki Beach Coconut, which was the one that was damaged, and the entire box smelled amazing. So I'm like, why? Car scent did not perform well. Yeah. Fairy tale. Oh my god, people tell me like, like I took them out. Like this scent is very strong. But also I had COVID, so I can't really smell it as strong as before. But people are like, oh my god, you smell so smell so strong. This and um what was a sparkle spray? So I just don't remember the name right now. You're the one. These two are pretty strong. If you're looking for a strong scent that people can smell, that's it. Next is hot florals. Um, it smells really good, but I don't think people can smell it on me. Orange flower, blonde woods. Feel the sun heat your skin. Also, can I just say, this is 11 minutes long already, but... The feel the sun heat your skin, like those bottom descriptions. That's like the description of the Bath and Body Works. It's like, hmm. I don't have one right now because I literally have a min like travel size fine fragrance mist and another one. But it's like their description of the scent, you know? It doesn't have to be a long story. It's like literally feel the sun heat your skin. Like that's obviously not a scent description. I hate when I see people post about that. They're like, oh, made you blush for velvet petals or whatever it is. Like, obviously that's not a note. Like that's this that's the description. That's the that's the sense of the vision. Like, what? Ugh, it just makes me so mad. Anyways, this scent I would not repurchase. But for some reason it smells like almost nostalgic a little bit. Next. Dove and the Calming. This is Pistachio Cream and Magnolia. I um, actually do like this. The formula is amazing. The formula is always amazing, Dove. It's pretty good. I like it. Would I repurchase it? Probably if it's on sale. Why not? Another Merry Cookie is empty as well. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. It doesn't last that long. But the initial spray is amazing. Just make it last long. Okay. Ew. So this is the moment... I can't wait for the end because I just feel it clunking between my feet. Uh, so, apologize for about mm, 30 seconds. And I, d I have a few things. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Still this much more. Love. Fair Vanilla Radiant. Was it Jasmine that I watched? She said Berry Waffle Cone and Bare Vanilla Radiant. She paired together. Yes. That is a fragrance layer that I can stand by for sure. 
because it lasts and you can actually smell it. I don't know. It, well, definitely it was majority of berry Winoff, berry waffle. I'm dead. Berry waffle cone was the majority of what I smelled, but this accented it so well because definitely that berry note, definitely that creamy vanilla note. Love it. Then also this is Brilliant Berries, Passion Fruit Crush. Bear Vanilla gets glowing. Love this so much. Love this so much. It's a beautiful vanilla. It's really a very strong vanilla with very little accent of berry, but I love it. Ugh, I love this so much. Next up, next caller is White Tea and Sage. Love, uh, I love White Tea and Sage. I have it in um, a cream. I also have it in a shower gel, and I also have it in a fine fragrance mist. Um, it's good. It's it is pretty strong. It is invigorating. It is like almost to the point of nauseating too, because I wore it to bed and I just kept smelling it. And it was really damn strong. And I love the strong scents, but not when you're going to sleep. Don't spray it when you're going to sleep. But it's very like spa. Like this is what I would expect to smell in like a spa, definitely. Um, yes. If you like the strong <laughs> white teen sage. Also I have it in, in a um, hand soap. I use that as well, foaming hand soap. I, what is this? Firecracker pop. When it first came out, I was like, I need this in my life for sure. Um, this is like strong in like a chemical way. The hand soap smells straight up as chemicals and I hated it so much, but I got through it because I'm like, just use it up because you paid for it and I'm not going to return it. That's embarrassing. So when I use it as a soap, it's more as chemicals, but when I use it as a fine fragrance mist, I got some of the cherry. The chemical note was like underlying as well, but mm, when I repurchased this, F no. Ugh, not a good scent. Next up is Fairy Tale, another little fine fragrance mist travel. So I love the new packaging. It's with the lid. Another one. I have two. I love the packaging, but it's not good in your purse because the cap falls off. Um, and they're definitely getting on the buy with Victoria's Secret, but Victoria's Secret, the difference is the cap doesn't fall off. Ugh. Also, when you go to like, well, what I've seen on logs, like when you go to Ross and things like that, the packaging is the same for Bath and Body Works as every other like flanker type of model. So I'm like, you're cheap. Here are the caps in the empties bag because, as you can tell, they fall off. Next up, okay, Emrod. This is so good. I've had people say it smells like powder. I've had people say that it smells like candy. Oh, I love this. And it lasts, I would say, four hours. Um, I love this. It's, like, powdery and clean and fresh and, like, I don't know. And the liquid is green. There's something about that. There's something about this that is like so like comforting and wonderful. I love this. I would definitely repurchase this again. There's something about it that is like so beautiful. I love it. Next is, I'm just pulling random things out. <laughs> This is definitely a thousand wishes. Um, guys love this scent. Um, Why well, I purchased it? Maybe. I still have probably two fine fragrance mists, full size, and a body cream. I don't really purchase body lotions, but I've heard that they obviously everybody knows that's watching this. They hold their scent longer, um, but. But I would purchase this again, maybe in, in a travel size. I'm thinking maybe I should just purchase all travel size. I know they don't come out with all the collection in travel size. I kind of wish they did. Um, but would I would purchase again, probably. 
it's just nice to like throw in my purse, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it, the projection I didn't think is very strong, but uh, I think the only time I receive compliments is like when I first put it on and I doubt myself. So whatevs, cut that open. Next up is Cozy Sunday Morning. Surprisingly, love I love this scent in the shower and my bubble baths. It is fresh lavender, creamy vanilla, soft sandalwood. There's something about this that's like, not masculine, but it's like so fresh. And that sandalwood note makes it like warm. It's like comforting, sexy, and like relaxing all at the same time. I love this. Would I repurchase this? I don't know. Uh, into the night, nobody, well, nobody complimented me on the scent, but they complimented me on the sparkles, like literally everybody at work. I love this. All the, all this, all of the uh, diamond shimmer mists are literally popping. I spray this on my entire outfit. And I get so many compliments on it. Uh, this like young girl, she was like, oh my God, you see the viral TikTok video? It's only for $1 right now. And I definitely saw that. It was like the aerosol love it so compared to that definitely also i told this one girl at work yeah i got into the night bath and body work simon shimmer miss love it night blooming jasmine i doused myself and and also can i just say that i love these smaller nozzles for bath and body works they spray so much better than the large old large old oh my gosh larger nozzles that they came out with I feel like the spray on the smaller were so much better than the larger ones. But this spray reminds me of my aunt for some reason. It's just night blooming jasmine. It definitely is a jasmine note that's almost synthetic, but smells real when it's on your body and it sits for a little bit. I've got told that I smell like hairspray as well, but I also just sprayed it. So maybe the alcohol was like still sitting on my body and didn't dissipate yet. But love this too when i repurchase i don't know it is strong but it's not like it's like a synthetic jasmine note like real jasmine almost so almost smells like sunscreen but a floral component added into it i think this is what jasmine is thought to smell like it's okay I enjoyed it while I had it, but would I repurchase it? Maybe. What's next? Okay, Select Squeeze THC Beverage Enhancer. This is probably, I, this is the only flavor that I've tried, but it's the worst flavor that I've tried. Um, hint of sweet. Why did I think that this was going to taste like sweet tea? Probably because the sweet in uh, the title of the name, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna, it's gonna taste like sweet tea. Don't know. Me and my sister shared it. When you squeeze it out, you squeeze it in this little compartment right here, this part to this part, fills up with, I think, five milligrams of THC is fast-acting nano formula. So it does hit you kind of fast, um, but the flavor was horrible. So if you go to your dispensary, it's legal in Arizona. Um, it's like not the best flavor, but what it says on the back, transform any drink to a THC infused flavor enhanced experience. Advanced nanotechnology makes for fast acting effects while the fill and pour reservoir makes doing dosing a breeze. Just squeeze gently, please. Different flavor would definitely, rem would definitely recommend this in a different flavor. Also, why are all the depressing songs playing right now? I know that you got daddy issues. And I do too. Next contender. This bag is the worst because it just keeps dropping everywhere. Ah, oh, I wish I had the... I'm going to find the top to this really fast. Okay, guys. 
But I'm so sorry that this is the longest video ever. But the top of this bottle is so pretty. If I could just find it in maybe 3.2 seconds, that would be the best. Oh, I found it. Just based on the touch. The bottle of this is so pretty. Has a nice, like, rose, dusty, dark blush. Uh, dark light blush. Love that. This is Splendida Bulgari. Rose, rose. Uh, I hope you can see that. But um, this time is interesting. A lot of reviews online, uh, Fragrantica.net, I felt like most of them were not about this because I, maybe they changed the formula, but initial spray was good though. It was like a dusty rose, dark powdery scent. I don't know if it lasted well in the body because I don't, I didn't, I don't think I received any compliments on this. But it's like, it's like a dusty powder rose. If that makes sense to you, then I absolutely love you. But this is like, okay. Initial spray was wonderful. It would, pro it probably lasted maybe an hour on my body. Maybe your body chemistry and pheromones react differently, but it smells like, I don't know, dusty, sexy rose. Yeah. Here's a bottle. Got it from Ross. Love Ross. Next up is, I hate this bag because it keeps flopping everywhere. Next is Fire Carpenter Pop in a shower gel. Disgusting. I would not repurchase a Fire Carpenter Pop because of the chemical smell. It's like upsetting. Next is In the Stars. Everybody loves this scent. Um, I haven't really worn it out too much. It was mainly just like to pour in like my perfume bottles or like to mix with other scents. Really, that's what I do. Like I have a refillable Angel, so I just mix a bunch of combos like Angel Nova. I mix that with also Firecracker Pop and I mix it with like a bunch of other scents that have similar notes in it too. Or just smell like the vibe I'm going for the night. Um, would I repurchase this? Eh, probably. It's iconic. Next. So I've heard that they have, like, the little names on here. No, this is... Well, I just smelt it. Fairy tale. Hi, the one person that's in here. I love you. Um, fairy tale is wonderful. It's really strong. Surprisingly, I love saying that it's strong from Bath and Body Works. They should all be strong and they should all last a long time. This, would I repurchase? Yes. Oh, Karma by Lush. Hello, good morning. Hi, Miss Snugs. Hello, good morning. You're the sweetest. What's your favorite scent? Well, what was your scent of the day? That's my question because your favorite scent is hard to... If you can answer your favorite scent, then I give you props because I cannot answer my favorite scent. <laughs> I have I have like my top like 10, but other than that, no. Okay, Lush by Car uh, Karma by Lush is amazing. This is a hippie scent. This is like potpourri and citrus. This has orange notes, it says potpourri, what else? Patchouli, it has lime, it also has lavender, pine, some citrus. It's amazing. Gingham Heart of Gold. I love that. I have Gingham Heart of Gold. The first time I bought it, the spray didn't work, so I went back to return it because I wanted that scent. It smells so good. I haven't worn that out yet. How was the longevity of Gingham Heart of Gold? Would you recommend that? When I wore Karma Lush, um, people were like, oh my God, he's smelling potpourri. So if, this is a very strong scent and I love strong scents. So if you need a strong like sillage, 
Karma by Lush is your jam. Also, they were low-key talking shit about it because this one chick went like this. I'm like, mm, you fake. Anyways, if I call them out on it, they wouldn't even be able to um, comprehend what just happened because I'm the vibe. You're the one I sprayed this in a parking lot. I've said this in all my videos. I sprayed this literally in a parking lot and I was walking up probably, I would say like 20 feet away. They were like, what does that smell? It's so strong. So you're the one. And I went to multiple locations. This is the shit. This is the shit. I've never really paid attention to the longevity fragrances. So I couldn't really. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Next up is. Glade, damn, Cashmere Woods, Cashmere Woods, this scent is so strong, <laughs> this scent is so strong, this is in the laundry room with the cat litter, my sister has um, two cats and one that she fostered, and it, it masks the smell of cat litter, so this is amazing, this is so strong. Next up is e.l.f. 16-Hour Camo Concealer. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this so much. This is such a wonderful formula. Thick, high-coverage formula. I would recommend this to literally everybody. Do not overpay for concealer when you can get this because it's absolutely amazing. Just try it. They have a Hydro one, which... I use for my contour, and they have this one, which I use for my under eye, which is a matte consistency. Love this so much. Also, can we just take a moment of appreciation for that wand? Are you kidding me? I have the MAC wand right now. It's literally tiny. Don't, uh, like, uh, for different makeup coverage, though. Like, if you want, like, a nice, tiny coverage, definitely. But if you want that thick wand, get that. Get the elf, okay? Next contender, the top half of a thousand wishes. Another cap because Bath and Body Works caps do not stay on long. Um, Buxom is amazing. It has the brush applicator for the lip. Love that. I uh, use it a few times. But the roll-up dispenser, I use it till the very end. Amazing. I love that. And it's, like, creamy. It's creamy but doesn't, like, create the lip lines. Like, it's creamy and gel consistency, I would say. This is amazing when I repurchase this. Yes. Love this so much. Um, What is the color? Do we know? Powerful Plum. So I use this on the outside of my lip. I used MAC inside of like a pink tone color. And then I used um, Burt's Bees liquid lipstick on all over my lip with like a warm nude. It was absolutely stunning. I would recommend this so much. It's effortless, effortless like lip line. I love it. Next up is... Suave Powder Instant Dry Spray. Um, good. Love it. Honestly, the sprays have been working better for me than the, like, roll-ons, which is so weird because I'm like, oh, my God, the sprays, like, don't work. Like, you're, it's, like, just a spray on you. Honestly, it's been working amazing. I have a Dove one in my purse. Where is it? I have a Dove one in my purse, too. Amazing. Like, I can't smell myself whatsoever. So I'm very impressed with those. Surprisingly, yeah. Next up is Airwick. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this was Hibiscus Paradise. No, that's Bath and Body Works. Something Hawaiian flower, Hawaiian drop, something Hawaiian. Anyways, um, pretty amazing. I love this. It was a 15 day supply from the Dollar Tree, and I feel like after it's like they sell the 30 day as well. Sometimes with some of the scents, they lose their scent after like, I would say 15 to 17 days, they lose their scent. So I was like, okay, this is perfect. 
like you're just using it for the 15 days that full longevity of that product is rewarded to you in the coin because it's the strongest that it's going to be and then after that it just loses its scent um so yeah i do like it when i repurchase probably i would think that it's better for smaller rooms like a bedroom or bathroom i haven't tried it on a larger room like a living room so if you have let me know and if you like it but for smaller rooms that airwick 15 days apply i would recommend um another airwick um the tops kind of get brown but i'm sure that's normal uh this is also the same as accent when i would purchase yes it's pretty strong and it lasts a pretty long time Next up is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Travel Size. This is in the spray. Um, I got compliments on this at work. But, yeah, that was, like, right when I sprayed it. So, I don't really, like, people aren't telling me, like, I don't know, people aren't telling me, like, well, they always tell me I smell good, but I always spray the shit out of myself. And I also, like, spray right away and then they tell me like the compliments i don't know but this spray is good this is like an aquatic citrus earthy scent if you like that then definitely get this almost on the verge of being masculine but is passed as feminine but also more towards masculine i would definitely say next up is another waikiki beach coconut Obviously, don't get this. It does not last at all whatsoever. I got literally one whiff when I was driving today, and the windows were down. So I'm like, what just happened? Um, Fire Pop. Is that what it's called? Firecracker Pop. The lid of it. Um, and then just... Oh, in the stars. That's the, that's the top to that. And I'm pretty sure that was it. Empty. Okay, toodles. We'll see uh, what other empties I have. I'll be doing another empty soon, too. I have a lot of shower gels um, that I'll be getting through soon. Um, other than that, I need to see which other ones, probably another Diamond Shimmer Mist that I'll be getting through as well. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to put these all the way. I got through a pretty decent amount of the travel size because, um, I only had a little bit of the thumb left, but it's like when I go out. I don't want to carry multiple, like, what my mindset is, like, when I go out, like, I want to have a full bottle so I can just douse myself every time I can, every chance that I get, I want to douse myself. I don't want it to be, like, I have a, a tiny, like, where my pinky is, like, a tiny bit amount left to where I just only carry one bottle with me and I spray myself and, like, then I get done with it and I'm, like, well, what am I going to spray myself with? So if I carry around one that's like where my pinky is like a small amount left, then I'll maybe I'll maybe carry two of them, like with small amounts. But like I was either I'm carrying a Louis like this size, which is a little bit larger at the base, or a Speedy 25. I rarely carry the Neverfull. So it's like I want a full size mini travel so I can just douse myself. So my empties aren't as large as I want them to be, even though they're pretty large for some people. But like I want to not have to worry about um, running out of product while I'm on the go and I'm looking fine as hell. You know what I mean? So uh, that's the end of my video. We'll s I have a lot of items almost near empty, and I'm just like, Ugh. some part of me is like, oh my god, don't use them because then you'll never have them again. But then I'm like, 
F it. Like, I forget about them after I use them, honestly. Unless I really like them, then I'll repurchase. What I'm trying to say is enjoy the scent while you have it. And don't worry about, like, oh, my God, this is the last of the spray. You can always get it. If it's overpriced online, like, third party, then that sucks, though. F those people. But, anyways, I'm going to go because I'll just keep talking for countless of hours. Shout out recommendation, Starbucks. This Starbucks... <laughs> This is Starbucks cup, whatever it is, thermos. Last, I literally, when I go to work, I put ice in here from here to here. Last all day. It's like last a day and a half, honestly, with the ice in there. Fire. Love it. Recommend it. Get it. That is worth the hype if there's any hype around it. But anyways, peace out, A-Town.